family. It's Ascended Twin, 144K. I'm here to do the energy read for the star signs of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, my air signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node, and Stellium. This is not going to resonate for every air sign, but it will be for some. Time is fluid, so this could be past, present, or future energies. The energies can be reversed. The roles can be reversed. This could be you or your person, you versus them, same-sex relationships, as well as divine counterparts. Family, when you come to any of my channels, all of the readings are timeless. So whenever you clicked on a video, it was time for you to receive the messages. If for whatever reason the messages do not resonate, come back at a later date, family, and maybe I'll have something that will. Okay. If you're under 18, please stay off my channel. If you don't like readers that curse, I ain't your reader. Let's keep it moving, fam. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel. Um as well as hit the like button, the notification button. So this helps more people receive these messages who need it. So I'm going to do your reading based off of uh, Oracle cards tonight, family. So there's some growth that's needing to be here. Somebody could be stuck and trapped in their head. Somebody here could have definitely been fucked over playing. Somebody played mind games with them. Somebody here was very strategic about having a, plan, a game plan to implement daily uh, routines um, or how they were going to handle you. But for others of you, you have learned to have a daily uh, routine that supports your goals to be clear about your desires. So a lot of you have expanded. A lot of you have went through growth to expand your consciousness and your awareness. You're rising like the phoenix. A lot of you went through a process where you crashed and burned. Holy Spirit, give me some messages for my air sign. Yeah, you were dealing with someone that was wearing a mask. They could have been a Gemini. doesn't have to be. Somebody not showing their, showing their true feelings. Hiding, personifying, gaslighting, and pretending. They deluded you, and this person had the key to your heart, or you had the key to theirs, or both. Some of you, this person you cared for deeply, but this, plan, this person liked to keep you stuck from going anywhere. And this is definitely a soulmate. Someone here that you had a soul connection with, a partnership, an agreement, soul contract. Mind you, family, this is a divine reading as well as soulmates. So there was a soul con contract between the two of you, but there was a needing to heal an outdated way of thinking. Somebody here, they, their mind was conditioned to replay thoughts or events over and over in their head. But a lot of you have grown. You've gone through the butterfly effect. A lot of you could be seeing butterflies. Some of you could be getting butterfly tattoos as well. Some of you could even also be getting these Harlequin mask um, tattoos. Somebody might, I heard somebody might even have one in their car. Um, you know, it hangs off of your mirror, that type shit. But um, the relationship is evolving to the next phase because it's time for you guys to continue to move forward with your inner childhood healing for growth. Growth, growth, growth. Okay. Let's go forward, family. What else can you tell me for my air signs, Holy Spirit? Hopefully this is four. Okay. Yeah, so somebody here, you could have dated. This person was hiding possibly that they were dating multiple people besides you. This person could have been very selfish and greedy. Some of you, you're um, not going to show your true feelings when you start dating also is what I'm picking up as well. Some of you have already gotten back out there. You're starting to meet new people. You um, may have planned and set a date, but you're not going to really let that person know how much you like them or vice versa. Somebody here was very selfish, very overindulgent. Somebody here needed to focus on their self and self-worth. It was time to heal, to do some shadow work in order to have some self-appreciation. Yeah, some of y'all may have dealt with a narcissist. Somebody that may have had narcissistic tendencies if they weren't a full-blown narcissist. Somebody that watched you, looked at you, stalked you, gaslighted and had a certain perception about you and they focused out instead of going within and they really would have known who you were and they wouldn't have played these mind games with you. You had a lot of unconditional love for this person. They may have had a lot of unconditional love for you. But this person, you showed them a lot of unconditional love. You also had self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. But this person stabbed you in the back. I'm going to take this card as well. So there was heartbreak here, a shocking um, attack, separation, deception. This person lied their ass off. Now you're going to be a little more strategic about how you do things. You've now set up to have a game plan. You implement this shit daily in your routine that supports your goals. Be clear about your desires now. Holy Spirit, tell me about the mask. Why is this here? 
for my divine, well, for my air signs. Yeah, some of you, this person could have been pointing the fingers at you. You could have been pointing the fingers at them. Our partners reflect our wounds. Relationships mirror what we are. Finger pointing, you have to take responsibility. Y'all got the fuck on. Y'all dipped the hell out. Some of you actually moved and relocated. Some of you just said, fuck it, I'm taking a vacation. Splitsville, leaving quickly, decisively. The relationship is evolving, devolving, or ending. Not keeping in touch, time alone. So a lot of y'all cut this motherfucker off like a wet bag of dope, or they did this to you. Holy Spirit, tell me about the soulmates. Yeah, this person had destructive behavior. And this is what you guys were mirroring. Addictions. Some of you may have gone through this. Some of you may have not. Addictions to gambling, alcohol, sex, negatively impacting the relationship, um, toxic thinking or behavior. So this person was really destructive. And this was an absolute deal breaker for a lot of you guys. List and adhere to your deal breakers. The universe will support you staying true to you. So a lot of y'all said, fuck this. I, you're not fucking me over like this. I got to go. Mingle. So somebody here keeps replaying events over and over in their head where they go to places. It's time for you to change how you date and how you interact with other people. Go to places that pique your interest this time. Change the way your out con outdated conditioning or your thinking is. Um, attend social gatherings, talk and meet new people. So you guys need to get out there and start mingling in different areas what you used to. Stop replaying the way you used to do things. Some of you have patterns here that need to be released as how you show up in dating. And a lot of you, this person wants to come in and talk to you. So they could be trying to look, uh, show up wherever you are, wherever they think you're going to be. But if you change up your routine and your patterns, guess what? That mofo can't find you unless you want to be found. So this person wants to text to you. They want to reconnect with you. Open up a dialogue. They want a second chance and they want to be back in your life. Tell me about the butterfly for my air sign, Holy Spirit. Yup, you guys leveled the fuck up. You deserve the best major improvement doing the inner work, dealing with the past hurts. I love it. You're investing in yourself, self-love, self-care. A lot of you going to get your nails, hair, your wigs, twits, and split. Oh, shit now. Y'all went out and did some shopping. Some of you don't even bought some new damn cars. Some of you don't even invested in purchasing a home, condos, townhouses, what I just heard as well. I heard that. All right, air signs, do the damn thing. See if they're the one. Spend some time together. Make the effort getting to know each other. Emotional investment. Some of you are seriously thinking about someone that you might consider um, emotionally investing in. But right now, I feel like a lot of you are right now just heavily focused on investing in yourself. You're taking time out to see what the fuck you want. Tell me about dating. Yeah, a lot of you are going to use your intuition when you get out there and start meeting people, new people. By you continuing to work on meditating daily, you're going to learn to follow your intuition. You're going to find the inner peace and balance alone or with a partner. Some of you may even meet a new partner. Y'all may even go to meditation classes together. You may even take yoga classes together, pal. I don't know, but you're going to do something together or you're just going to work with you, yourself, and I. But a lot of you right now are focusing on rewriting your life. Rewrite your life story to how you would like it to be. Release, feel peace now. Some of you need to spend some time with some sleep subliminals. Holy Spirit, tell me about the self-indulgence. Sleep subliminals. Uh, yeah. Some of y'all dealt with somebody here that didn't know any other way to show up in a relationship than show a relational abuse. Notice the red flags that may be emotional, physical, sexual, financial in nature. Ask for help in a situation. Yeah, this person, they had an altered view about you. Maybe they finally took the fucking blinders off and saw you for who you truly are. Because this person now looks like they're seeing things differently than they are. Past conditioning influencing the situation. Now this person wants to reevaluate. Look at this shit. I, look, spirit know what the fuck they be doing. You see that? Glasses on, glasses off. This person was only stuck in black and white. They had a certain perception about you. 
tell me about the sunglasses, Spirit. Ooh, shit. Yeah, hurry up and dip this. This motherfucker want to talk to y'all again. Do you want to talk back to this one? Round two? I think the fuck not. This person definitely wants to come back in. They want back in in your life. This is a manipulator, a controller. They're, in, they're unfaithful. They disregard boundaries. They're very egocentric. This person has a sense of entitlement. They're very selfish and they're a fucking rule breaker. Uh-uh, I think the fuck not. Not for my collective. Not for my folks that have done the hard work. Tell that bitch to kick rocks all the way down the block with bloody fucking flip flops. And they got the nerve to fucking say they miss you. They miss your fucking energy collective. Yeah, so sad, lonely, or alone. Physical separation. Let go and move on. Thinking of each other, thinking of you. I think not. Kick rocks, bro. Assist. Tell me about... The love that you have for this person. You have so much unconditional love for this person. This person had a missed opportunity with you. They regret the former relationship. Don't run if it feels right. Risk of loss. Risk of loss. Communication is imperative. This person has had a missed opportunity with you. Some of you for staying in this unconditional love mindset with this person. You had a missed opportunity in love. Take it how it resonates, fam. Y'all could have missed out on somebody that wanted to offer you some exclusivity. But there's somebody here that uh, wants to offer, wants an exclusive relationship. I'm pretty sure all of you want an exclusive relationship. Girlfriend, boyfriend, commitment, possible marriage, material, or life partner. Not dating other people, but you can't date a narcissist. Narcissists, they're, they're unhealable. Spirit has to deal with them. You lead them to God. Yeah, so somebody here that stabbed you in the back, they're challenged to walk away from you. They miss your energy, family. Again, let me repeat this. Narcissist, this person gives no fucks. They will never get any fucks. Go look up some of the videos on YouTube about narcissists. Go buy a book. Go look it up on a PDF for free. Read it about narcissists. This person... A lot of you may have had a, a magical mindset, or this person is trying to mask you, ma uh, manifest you back in. This person is a manipulator, too. Everything is divine. Know that you are a creator of, the, of the, your reality. I'm sorry, of your reality. Co-manifest with the universe. So after you left this person and started to do the healing work, you started co-creating with, um, with the universe, and you started write, rewriting your story. Your person misses your energy, family. Make, let me make that abundantly clear. Tell me about the mask and point, finger pointing. So this person pointed their fingers at you to try to throw you off guard, keep you stuck in your fucking head, and keep you fucked up in the game. But you got smart, and you walked away from this finger pointer. Yeah, Eight of Cups. You could have walked away from a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Somebody here that needed to do some serious childhood healing for growth. Tell me about, um, they could have Leo in their chart, or you could have been dealing with a Leo. Yeah, you dealt with a soulmate that's a fucking liar. This motherfucker couldn't talk, tell the truth. If somebody goddamn pointed it out, go back and sit down and go heal. Take your heel and ask someplace else. You could have dealt with another um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody that was just a liar. When that nigga breathes, they lie. When she exhales, she just told a lie. Somebody here needs to think more clearly about things and stop living in the past, being so aggressive and being so guarded. You keep replaying past your past um, events over and over, and it's a conditioning that needs to change. So a lot of you could have been dealing with somebody that was like this, very childish, didn't think things clearly out, but they're stalking you, they're spying you. And he's sitting right above the fucking narcissist, beyond me. Be I more clear? And on top of this, this mofo for some of you is already in another commitment or marriage. They got jits. Tell me about the butterfly and leveling up. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius like yourself. And the butterfly, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this person, they have a whole lot of regrets. Crying over spilt milk. Yeah, they crying over your energy. Wah, 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 cries the baby. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody here that was controlling their emotions, suppressing them for you. This person was already demo emotionally depleted. That's why they were sucking your energy dry. They were sucking your ass like a twizzle stick. Uh -huh. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody that's highly emotional. They need to get 
uh, uh, hold on their emotions. This person is also a manipulator because they use your emotions against you as a weapon. So some of you are no longer waiting. You're dating. You're getting back out there and you're learning to follow your intuition. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So some of you may even end up meeting a fire sign in your pursuits. Some of you may end up joining a meditation or yoga class or a gym class or something that you like to do. And you're going to meet somebody somewhere and it's going to pique your interest and you're going to pique theirs. But a lot of you, you're no longer waiting for this person to show back around. You've already dipped and left the scene. You're not waiting for your ships to come in with this person. And some of you, your ships, those of you who did wait, your ships are not coming in, sweetie. So Spirit says, meditate, pray daily, and do some affirmations and follow your intuition. Some of you, you're the high priest. Yeah. And you already intuitively know that this person is hiding that they have another relationship, another marriage. Could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer. Holy Spirit, tell me about the self-indulgence and the relational abuse here for my air signs. Yeah. Y'all dealt with somebody that was a manipulator. He's sitting right over here on the narcissist. They done collided. So they the same, one and the same, Aries, Virgo, Gemini energy. So some of y'all definitely dealt with a master manipulator. Somebody here also may have performed a little sex magic on your ass too. Could have been dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo, a Taurus, or a Scorpio. North node, south node sitting over here. Tell me about... Hmm, y'all ended that shit too. You gotta close one door before you can open another door. That's what you should have taught your damn person. Hopefully they may have learned to trick or two from your ass when you turned around and it said, Excuse my back, nigga. But anyway, sunglasses, talking again, and narcissism. Yeah, this person likes attention. Wait, attention. They operate out of pride and ego. And this is what causes you to feel trapped because this motherfucker is trapped, okay? So you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius doesn't have to. Even the goddamn horse looks at this motherfucker like nigga. Okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Tell me about the love and the missed opportunity for... My um, air signs, please, very yeah. Divine timing is here. It's time for you guys to finish working on healing and renewing and balancing yourself in order for you to get a new love. But this person here could be trying to heal and balance themselves and want to come back in. I wouldn't trust it. Not when I see narcissism. I got three cards out here that register narcissist. So, yeah. And on top of it, this mofo got some wings on his head. Or hers and on their motherfucking feet. They look like Nikes. Just do it. And that's exactly what the fuck they do. They don't think. They just do it. Okay? And this person could be very selfish when it comes down to love. They're childish and immature. I haven't seen a king show up yet. At least. Okay? The only time this nigga might show up as the king is when they cold, detached like a narcissist. Or when they're in their whole ass energy. That king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and that don't have to be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's just the energy that that nigga is in. We got um, <clears throat> the Four of Pentacles. So somebody here is going to hold back from this offer because this person is not serious. They on a horse. They got wings on their head and their feet. This nigga ain't going to stay. They already got plans to go. I'm only here for a short time, not a long time, okay? Yeah, you got stabbed in the back because they had another choice besides you. Could have been a Gemini. Somebody kept secrets. They kept you under false illusions that there was real love. And you had to learn to gain your courage, strength, and power. Pisces, Cancer, Leo energy. Some of you, you could have um, had, had to gain courage and strength to put distance between this person. And stop talking to them in order for this motherfucker to get some karma. Mm -hmm. Some of you could be Libras. Some of you could be Leos. Because this person, they're getting karma. They have a dirty dick. Okay? Or a dirty penis, but they want to come and give it to you. That's the gift that keeps sharing, and it's going to leave you left out in the cold emotionally and financially. Some of you, you're vibrating very high, and you're going into union with yourself, and you could be going into union with someone else or a relationship. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's the outcome here, Holy Spirit? I'm buying what people be selling. This nigga sound like a bad used car salesman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This person here, they were already heartbroken before you got a hold of them. And then they fucked around and broke your heart and got the fuck on in their nice little two-seater. Yeah, there's your divine masculine, somebody that could have been controlling. If it's not your divine counterpart, this was somebody that was controlling and manipulative. They're narcissists, you see right here, narcissists. And they were only focused on money. 
and they already were already invested in another relationship. Yep, this person just like to be debaucherous. They like to get out, fuck, have a little fun. They saw you, thought you were a little sexy, and said, mm, "Let me come over here and get me some." Yeah, that's exactly what they did. And they left you in a one-sided motherfucking situation where you felt left out in a cold, stuck and trapped in your damn head, full of illusions and confused, don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah, self-sabotage at its finest, baby. This person was trying to play the shit out of you. For some of you, unfortunately, they did. But that's okay, spirit. Got your back. You got motherfucking justice. This bitch is about to get some karma for the choices that they have made. Yes, all signs are here. So I'm stop calling signs. We're just going to get on with the story, right? Yeah, some of you, because you left this person... And that was your justice. You got a new beginning because this person is sneaky, lying, and deceptive. It still falls on narcissists. Secrets. This person could have some mental issues. Ooh, this person is secretly toxic as fuck. And some of y'all could have felt bound. You could have felt going like you were losing your god darn mind. This person got addictions, baby. Mm-hmm. And they could be sharing that with a whole nother soulmate. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. They was trying to stick your ass up for your riches, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of them were definitely hiding that they were in a toxic-ass relationship. Ooh, we spirit. Yeah, third-party situation. Mm-hmm. It got exposed that they were already married for some of you. Some of you, they were already living with somebody and juggling you. Damn it, man. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages for my air signs. Yeah, and this person, they ain't got shit to offer you. They don't plan on apologizing or nothing. Motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you stood in your power. That's why they know they can't come over here and fuck with you. You done stood your ground. You done established boundaries. You the high priestess or the high priest. They know they can't put nothing past you now. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And look who's sorry now. Mm-hmm. Sitting over there looking all hurt and shit. Jaded and whatnot. Feeling left out in the cold. Because you hurt their little wibble feelings. You hurt the big old narcissist's feelings. Really? Mm-hmm. Karmic soulmate. There's no reconciliation. Mm-hmm. Yep. Go and heal. A lot of you, they saw you now as the wish. They see you as financially stable and abundant. Mm-hmm. Focused on your pentacalis, baby, and getting it in. Male or female, yes, you are. No more self-indulgence from somebody that's greedy, selfish, and hides a lot of god darn secrets from you. Yeah, this person was hiding that they were holding back. You needed to use your intuition about this mofo. They weren't going to tell you the truth if somebody paid them a million dollars and gave them the goddamn key to the mint factory. This person is a headache and a fucking burden. And this is a soulmate. Leave them the fuck alone. They ain't got shit to offer you. Yeah, now they trying to come out of a third party situation just like you did with another soulmate that fucked them over like they fucked you over. Mm-hmm. Take it how it resonates. They don't want no more smoke either. Mm-hmm. It's karma done got on that ass. That angel done called judgment. Mm-hmm. They're going through some type of karma, some type of legal justice. Let them ride with that shit since you wanted to be a fucking player and be a hoe, male or female. I let your ass go. Yeah, with your nasty little dirty ass dick talking about you want a new beginning. You got money. Niggas, please buy with that shit. Boy, I got the whole back from your ass. Ain't nobody got time for that. The fuck you mean? Yeah, I'm going to take my leap of faith elsewhere and I'm going to do it with some passionate action. Shit, I got other places to be. You don't want shit to end. But I saw what you did to me. You self-sabotage. You played mind games, trickery. You tried to play with my head. I had to end that shit. You didn't want to end it, but I did. I had to focus on my money and do what I needed to do. I got jits, man. They got to feed. They got to eat. So Spirit said, look, stop. I got this. They ain't going to fuck with you no more. They might love you, but they stuck looking at you. That could be some of their karma for doing what they did to you. Mm-hmm. This person got to see things from a higher perspective. So spirit just said, mm-hmm, I got you. Now let's like let's learn this lesson here and stop acting like you don't know what the fuck you doing. You know exactly what you did. Mm-hmm. Sure did. Yep, you hurt my Queen of Pentacles. And for that you're gonna get some karma. Yeah, now you love her, don't you? Or you love him. Mm-hmm. Now they want to reconcile with your ass. Because they see you doing big things or about to. Yeah, but this person don't believe in relationships. They don't believe in commitments. 
And this person could be trying to get out of a commitment with someone that they could have gotten pregnant. Some of them, they see you as the empress, but they ain't going to offer you no commitment. Yeah, right now, this person can't be trusted. That's a whole ho and a player. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, ma'am. And this player done hit a tower. They're becoming single. Mm -hmm. And they feel absolutely rejected the way they did you, fam. Damn it, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this player here got his heart broke. Got it betrayed to the max. Sure did. All about offering love. Now they want to come in after they betrayed you too. And give you a second chance to love. But somebody here was definitely dealing with a narcissist. If it wasn't you, it was them. This queen, this empress could have been one. But I see y'all as the empress getting the fuck on. Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, sure damn is. Some of you may have that in your chart. You had enough of somebody fucking you over. You made a choice to get the fuck on. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You sure did. Yep, you going on to new love. Mm-hmm. While this person's sitting over here trying to hold it all in. Mm-hmm. Feeling emotionally drained and depleted. Taking forever and a day to come in with this offer. You gained so much truth and clarity and you just cut it smooth the fuck with it. Fuck with it. Off with their head. Now they stuck in the dark night of the soul. Stressed the fuck out. Don't know what to do. Now they got to make a choice. They had to take the rose colored glasses off. And see things for what it really was. Which caused delays, blockages, obstacles. Between you and your divine counterpart. This person was an absolute idiot. And things had to end. Because spirit said it couldn't continue to go on like this. This person was not doing you justice. They were not bringing you no, no justice. That's all. Not when they're indecisive, don't know what the hell they want, and they're juggling. Yeah, your person needed to make a choice. Mm-hmm. But they were suppressing how they felt about you. They were keeping it all underground. See, this person was like cold, detached, emotionally unavailable to you, so you had to end it because it kept making you feel rejected. This person is so cold and disconnected, they had a missed opportunity with you. It's a soulmate, and they love you, and they're getting truth and clarity. Look at how y'all showing up. You done being cut off. They hurt. You moving forward. Some of you are relocating and moving away. You're taking passionate action. You've been thinking about this shit for a long time, if you haven't a Virgo has. But this has been the reading family. Let me give y'all some cards here about what's going on. Tell me something, Holy Spirit, for my air signs, Capricorn. I mean, damn. Some of y'all may have Capricorn in your chart or dealing with someone that did. Balance. Spirit wants you to get balance from this toxic ass relationship. And you will have beautiful. Ooh, shit, fam. I love it. This. Yeah. Success and abundance is coming your way. Release the guilt, though. You didn't do anything wrong. And if you did, it's old. it's done. Shit. They get in judgment any damn way. So fuck them. That's the quickest way to release it and heal it. Stop being so indecisive. Your person could be being indecisive because they're under judgment right now. Yeah, they're going to have to learn that they can accomplish whatever they set their minds to. And they need to stop finger pointing and face the adversity that comes through with everybody's life. I accept and challenge. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. You guys learned and leveled up, so let your person do likewise. Family, this has been your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family, friends, and coworkers. You can find me here on YouTube as Ascended Twin 144K. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family, friends, and coworkers. Family, you can also um, scroll all the way over to my About section. There you will find the other channels that I own and operate. As well as um, how to book a reading with me. Just uh, hit me up on Twin Flames with a Z, 144K at um, 144, I'm sorry, not K, 144 at gmail.com. There I will upload your price list and um, the price you pick your time and it will set your, um, your price. And from there we will go ahead and set your date when you would like to do your reading. Also, family, if you would like to send love donations, donations are always welcomed and appreciated. They're used for more materials for the channel. Also, if you would like to pull something from off of my Amazon wish list, that's another way you can donate as well. I love you, Soul Tribe. Until the next video, peace.